Hello everyone, this is Pamperchu. Today I have a really neat modem I'd like to show you. I got this at a yard sale about 10 years ago. I got it for free. It was in the free box. This is a NEC N2420-30. It's a modem with three different speeds. The three speeds on this modem are 300, 1200, and 2400 baud. And other little buttons that I I'm not familiar with. A volume knob for your speaker, mode A and B, and a way to connect it to your computer and your phone line. Here is an advertisement for this modem from 1986, I think. Are your modems smart enough to talk to dumb terminals? I don't know. There's a picture of the modem. This modem was built in January of 1988, two years before the introduction of the World Wide Web. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the cover and show you the inside of this modem. The top cover is held on by one screw. Now that I got the cover off, let's take a closer look. On this board, we have an 8-bit microcontroller, um, a battery to keep memory, and here's an EEPROM with probably a ROM for the firmware. So what's in this box? It's probably a transformer of some sort. There's some weight to it. Um, some very interesting black um, things here. I'm not sure what those are. I'm going to close up the serial number. All NEC. Here I have the modem completely disassembled and all the circuit boards exposed. These were the three layers and this folded in like that. The top layer, the second layer. Let's take a closer look at this one. Here we have a bunch of CMOS chips. Most of them are the MC14071B chips. There are a few others. A very interesting board here. These two chips are the same. On the bottom circuit board, there are four large chips, a few medium and a few small. Let's take a look at these. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together. So the first board to go on is this one here. Alright, it's in place. And If anyone knows any more information about this modem, um, please let me know. I really like this old technology. Now on the underside of that top cover is a list of what all those dip switches do. You can see there's a lot of options. There's also a lot of switches. Switches on the modem card and switches on the auto dialer card. So if anyone out there has an older modem than this, please make a video and show me. And if you can get it working and running, that would be so awesome to see. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.